when you want something really big like partnering in the lockdown challenge 2020 we can't but be super grateful we appreciate you hi everyone welcome to another session on lockdown challenge uh, my name again is Babatunde Fakolade. Um, so I'd just like to take this opportunity to say thank you to every single one that has really participated, engaged in this platform, that has you know commented, asked questions, um, you know really raised a lot of tractions and awareness. You know, thank you every single one of you for really making this challenge, um, this 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 platform, you know, uh, this educative you know seminar. I would call it actually a month educative seminar you know really really successful so thank you so much and thank you for every single one of you that have you know commented on my on my on my sessions and then you know asked me questions you know thank you thank you thank you so much i have learned a lot by you know by you know answering your questions and watching other people's um, sessions and videos i've really had a lovely time and i've really you know increased my knowledge in the last three weeks and you know and um, yeah and i'm sure you guys have really you know you know you guys have really experienced the same uh, like i have so yeah um i presume this is my last session so um and this is gonna be slightly different quite short but slightly different um so last few sessions i've spoken last week i spoke in particularly about um seven pieces of marketing before that i spoke about um making sure that you understand the market that you're going to and ensure that you've done your analytical work before you venture into a business idea in a in a in a in a you know fully and then before that my first session i spoke about understanding the challenges that uh, any any business venture idea would 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 bring and being able to put solutions to those challenges again those elements will increase your chances of success okay today's session is about creative and uh, problem solving um and and that's one thing i haven't taught you I haven't taught you how to create a, a an, how to create an idea or how to generate an idea that okay you know you, you don't know where to start from but you want to start brainstorming or deep diving into possible um, ideas and how to go about it okay so today is about creative problem solving which would hopefully lead you to an idea and a fantastic um life-changing and um, problem solving ideas that will you know make each one of you you know um be the next ceo of a big large multi um you know million pounds you know um, um company okay so there's a famous uh, person Albert einstein he said problems cannot be solved by the same level of thinking that created them okay so that means that in other words you cannot solve a problem using the same thinking that created a problem okay and usually ideas is about solving a problem or meeting a need which is about again solving a problem okay so the first thing one needs to do is be able to transpose our mental thinking transpose our mental um our mental values or our you know ability of thinking or seeing things in one way and be able to see that same problem in so many different ways because when you can see that problem in so many different ways you begin to realize that okay actually this idea if i if i couple this idea together i can create a fantastic solution to a problem okay and usually people tend to get stuck in just creating one idea but actually you haven't put that idea through different um um um, um elements or areas to see if i put this idea in this area does that solve the problem okay because the idea that you want to the business idea that you want to go into it must literally solve most people's problem okay that's why you get the marketing that's why you get the revenue that you're looking for that's why that's where you get your satisfaction from because it's solving people's majority of people's problem and if you look at the thriving business business uh, mo uh, you know uh, 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 models in you know or business companies or industries in the world they're solving multiple problems for people either industry individually services they're solving multiple problems and that's what you want your business idea to be able to do solve lot, lots of problems okay so it's about putting the idea to different heights so for example if i am an engineer i will see a problem different way if i am if i am if somebody is a lecturer they will see that same problem in a different way if somebody's a doctor 
they will see that problem in a different way. So what you want to do is that when you have an idea that you think will solve a problem, look through that ideas and see how many different highs or, or situation can that ideas meet or solve their problems. You know, and when you are able to establish, you know, the thinking, a wider holistic thinking of that problem, what then what then happen is that you have an a big massive solution to a problem or even what you thought you had you'll be able to enhance that or improve on it that you have it you then have you then birth a fantastic idea that can solve a problem you know take for example uh, dan gote for example he's solving multiple problems in in africa left and right and he's even expanding his business you know you know you know facilities infrastructure to solve thousands of problems you know, lots of people's problems, and that's what you want to be able to do. You want to be in a market where your ideas or the idea that you have is solving multiple problems. Okay, so the first thing you, be, you must be able to do is describe that problem. Okay, you see, you've got an idea. The idea, that idea, must be attached to a problem. So the first thing to do is describe that problem. Okay, and then secondly, you must be able to explain that problem to yourself and to other people that they will see that actually there is a solution a problem solving solution here or problem solving idea here thirdly which is the powerful part is being able to differentiate a symptomatic problem from a from a from a challenging problem okay sometimes the idea that we bring in are solving symptoms but they're not actually solving the root cause of a problem okay so um those three things are really really important and your ability to think outside the box i'm sure you've heard that term before your ability to think outside the box see things in a more holistic way in in so many people's eyes think outside the box i'm sure you've heard that term before your ability to think outside the box see things in a more holistic way in in so many people's eyes you know you you then realize that you can create a fantastic idea that is likely to 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 to, to solve multiple problems and that you will you know uh, achieve satisfaction from and again it will make you you know the, the you you will achieve the idea of success that you're wanting okay so that's my quick tip for you today um ensure you engage in those little tips to um you know you know creating your ideas and then yes drop me questions again and i'll answer those for you and then in the future if you do have any question please don't hesitate to 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 contact us that's not a problem and then yeah have a fantastic um, 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 time ahead. Thank you.